I want to just quickly go through FFS and UFS and ZFS. I mean, e each of these are very big topics. And like I can spend days on just on ZFS. FFS is the fast file system. It was a performance improvement from the original Unix file system. The original Unix file system was a table of inodes, 512 byte storage blocks, and a super block of information. Nice and simple. Uh, a problem with it, and uh, Marshall Kirk McCusick explains the problem here. A problem with the original Unix file system is you have the table of inodes, which is metadata, and then you have the data blocks. Often, whenever you're accessing different files, it would need to do a read from the inode table and then read from the data blocks. And that would cause the heads to seek or whatever the, the storage device was to do a random workload. One of the things they did in FFS to fix it was to take the disk and instead of having one inode table and data blocks, was to have many, many smaller ones. And so, this may only be 16 megabytes in size, and so I still may scatter the data from the parent inode, but instead of having to seek across hundreds of megabytes, I've reduced the uh, head travel and maybe the rotational distance as well. And of course, there's then a policy when I'm creating files to try and put the data blocks next to the inode to so physically locate them nearby. So that was one of the big improvements that FFS did. FFS also increased the block size, uh, supported, yeah, increased the block size so that it could uh, improve performance as well. It increased to four kilobyte minimum. Uh, if you've never seen this before, then this gives you an idea of how inodes actually work. You kind of see inode information when you type ls minus l. So that's the metadata for each file. And so there's my, my stat information. An inode has a collection of direct pointers, which may be, say, 12. And they will directly point to data blocks. Each pointer consumes a fixed number of bytes, like four bytes. Then if it's not a trivially small file, if it needs more than, say, 10 blocks, it can then use an indirect pointer, which points to a data block which is entirely composed of pointers. So if, this data, so if my data block size is 8 kilobytes and my pointer size is 4 bytes, then this lets me add 2,000 pointers. So now I can store much bigger files. It's, it's kind of in a way, it's making the inode go from whatever this is, 200 bytes, to be, it lets the inode grow its own storage. The inode is now 8 kilobytes. And of course, there's double indirect. We have a block of pointers that points to block, blocks of pointers that then points to data. And there's also triply indirect these days, which I didn't draw there. And yes, we, when you have small block sizes and you have to store many of them, this is a, a method to do it. And this is what FS, FFS did. And UFS did because UFS copied FFS and, and EXT and Linux did because EXT copied UFS, which copied FFS. And FFS, which copied the original ideas from the original UFS, so original Unix file system, not modern UFS. Uh, another performance feature of FFS was block interleaving, placing sequential file blocks on disk with a spacing in between them of one or more blocks. They gave the kernel and processor time to issue the next sequential file read. Without interleaving, the next block would pass the disk head before it was ready to be read. So they were FFS. It was done by Marshall Kirk McCusick and Bill Joy, and they, they did a bunch of performance optimizations. And it really became the standard in file systems. And that's why everything since then has been based on it. Uh, with the exception of UFS, where Bonwick really uh, wanted to cook up something new. UFS, so FFS went into SunOS in 1984 as UFS, the new UFS. Uh, and Sun added some features like I.O. clustering, logging, and direct I.O. Uh, EXT3 I mentioned there that came out of, inspired by FFS, and it 
had journaling and all of block allocator which spreads top level directories across many cylinder groups so that subdirectories and their contents are more likely to be co-located reducing random IR. This is very bizarre but what it means is imagine you have multiple of these cylinder groups with that block level allocator I can say slash user goes here slash var goes here slash edc goes here and then when you do subdirectories and files it tries to put, put them nearby so it's just as a sub-optimization ext4 um, extent based pre-allocation 